two teams, the Chocolatiers and the Jungle Jumpers, were right next to each other in the standings at 12th and 13th. Both teams had not been doing too well this year, which isn't out of the normality for both. But these two teams would be put on the spotlight for just a moment, and both would be leaving this moment on different paths too, one good and one bad. But all we know right now is that these two teams were never supposed to end up here, fighting for a gold medal and besting some of the elites from 2019. And that fight for the gold is arguably the closest in history. Let's first take a look at the Chocolatiers heading into this event. Now after making the first two Marble Leagues, the Chocolatiers did not qualify for the 2018 Marble League. It was the first time that had ever happened in their history. Although the Chocolatiers haven't ever been too good those first two years, they did improve greatly between year one and two. So coming into this 2019 Marble League year, the Chocolatiers felt that they could continue that improvement from those first two years. The qualifiers for the Chocolatiers have always been rough for the team. In 2017, they hung around the elimination line for the final three events. And in 2018, they were eliminated after placing in the bottom half in three out of four events. And the qualifiers for 2019 weren't much easier. After two consecutive 15th place finishes, they were in 14th. If they didn't do anything good in the final event, they would be eliminated for the second straight year. But they did do something good. They placed fourth which was enough for the Chocolatiers to qualify. Now the actual Marble League wasn't the improvement the Chocolatiers were hoping for. It started to look good after they got a bronze in the first event. Even the coach was excited for the team as he said on the sideline, quote, that's the start we need. Sadly though, it all fell apart. In the next six events, heading into the summer biathlon, the Chocolatiers only placed above the top half once and entered into the biathlon at 12th in the standings. So that's how the Chocolatiers entered this event. But what about the Jungle Jumpers? Their qualifying record is actually really similar to that of the Chocolatiers. In 2017, they were very close to being eliminated. And if it wasn't for this gold medal, they definitely wouldn't have been in the 2017 Marble League. Mainly because of the finishes they got besides that gold. They were awful. In the next year, they were also eliminated from the 2018 qualifiers. They actually had a solid start. But once they placed second to last two events in a row, it was clear they weren't going to compete. And the 2019 qualifiers ended up being significantly better. They were able to qualify comfortably at fifth. Now, their story to this moment in the standings was different than how the Chocolatiers got there. Their first event of the year, they placed 15th, and that was it. They remained in the bottom six all the way to the summer biathlon as they entered this event in 13. So that's where we stand on the day of the Summer Biathlon. In the first 16 event Marble League season ever, this event would mark the end of the first half. The Jungle Jumpers were in the very first heat of the day. They were placed with two top three teams, so they had to face some hefty competition. And their start right out of the gate didn't look too promising as they were in last. The Hop was able to recover and quickly get into second after a few turns. Coming out of the first half of this race, the Hazers took a bad bump against the wall that let Hop get by. And this happened a second time as well. Misty was once again in the lead, but they slowed way down suddenly, letting two marbles pass them, one of which was Hop. And he was able to hold this place at second to advance to the semifinals. They have a huge lead, they're gonna cross the line first in front of the Jungle Jumpers. And the Hazers ring ducks a disappointing two seconds plus. Now Bonbon bon of the Chocolatiers. They were passed by Mellow Yellow in the track section and sat at third as they went into the sand. Bonbon bon carefully waited for an opening and when there was, he striked. He passed Mellow Yellow and nearly got past Mandarin in first. Good move through there up into second place and the gap coming down all the time to the Orangers. Are they gonna get there? Just 
barely, the O-Rangers hold on. Four hundredths of a second. That was close. By the way, is it now moving on to the semifinals? The Chocolatiers had some major luck to get into the finals here. They once again didn't win the race as they came in second, and Pulsar beat them all with a time that would end up being the best of the day. But here's the moment Bonbon bon got really lucky. Coming out of the track, every marble was just a few lengths between each other. Now the next part we have to slow down, because a lot happened. Here we go. Bonbon bon was originally in the lead here, but suddenly he started to bump against the walls. Anarchy closed the gap, but ended up nearly beaching themselves in the process, letting Bonbon bon get by. Additionally, Bonbon bon took this hard bump right here that ended up majorly slowing down Shock. All the meanwhile, Pulsar raced by them all to take the lead permanently. And over a second later, Bonbon bon finished in second to advance to the finals. Bumps were very much present for the jungle jumpers too. Coming out of the track section, they were in second, and Aqua gave a huge assist to Hop, who managed to get first with the speed from the bump. But they weren't able to hold on. Several bumps, as you see here, forced Hop to fight for second place, a battle that he actually won out. Have a great burst of speed to take the lead from him, and Oceanics fall all the way back to fourth. Running out of time to advance, they're not going to. Raspberry Racers come across along with the Jungle Jumpers. The and now, we have our two competitors here. The biggest stage of any event, the finals. The Raspberry Racers were the favorites to get the gold, and even Pulsar had some people expecting them to win. Nobody would have guessed that it would come down to this. But now, it's time we get there. Pulsar was the only marble that caused issues for Hop early on. Coming out of the track, Pulsar was able to take the lead, but it didn't last long. Both Hop and Bonbon bon went by to bring us into the final stretch. Before the photo finish, Bonbon bon had bumped Hop twice, attempting to get by, and he would get one more attempt. But it did not work. Sight. Who's gonna get it? That's close. That is very close. Jungle Jumpers and the Chocolatiers? Oh my. The jungle jumpers just jump ahead by three thousandths of a second. Yes, they have. The jungle jumpers have claimed gold. The jungle jumpers managed to hold on after a last minute lunge by Bon Bon. And what an incredible finish between two teams who probably had no business even being in this moment. Now, which team gained the most momentum from this event? That would definitely be the jungle jumpers. Now, it wasn't much, but they were able to end the year in 7th, their highest finishing spot in any Marble League to date. The Chocolatiers were just never able to find consistency, and ended that season in 12th. And that's it. This has got to be the most underrated event ever, and it was truly a gem to find. And I definitely wouldn't mind seeing this exact style come back in a future competition. But that's all for me. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next video. Bye.